Air over the hill on the north side of Duluth. We've already received two tenths of an inch of rain, and we're expecting maybe a third of an inch to fall from this system, which should start to fade away after midnight tonight. You know, Wisconsin fishing opener coming up tomorrow. I can remember so many Minnesota openers where the weather was just like this. Cool, rainy, not that pleasant, but this should break in time to get the boats launched tomorrow morning. So this is a short-lived and much needed round of rain. That's going to give us what we need to help keep the fire danger down at least a little bit here as temperatures warm up and skies clear up here for the weekend. Well, right now, let's take a look at our current conditions around the area. And many towns are just like Duluth with a gray sky and rain coming down. But on the fringes, there's some slightly different conditions. Still sunny towards Grand Portage, Grand Marais, and up towards Aiken on the sunnier side. Watersmeet, though, has just seen the clouds increase according to this map. And so what we're getting at is we're looking at a good 50 to 60 percent chance of rain getting to your neck of the woods just in case it hasn't paid off yet and then it should start to go away like i mentioned before sunrise tomorrow setting us up for some pretty nice conditions that are going to be coming our way coming our way next we have the current conditions at duluth international it's 49 relative humidity 90 percent south southeast wind going 14 miles per hour and a low barometric pressure reading at 1011 millibars but as early as tomorrow morning, yes, higher pressure is already going to settle in, and that's going to make things get back towards sunshine, both for Saturday and probably Sunday as well. Monday is a different story that we'll tell with the seven-day forecast, but the tail right now shows an occluded low-pressure system sliding out of the Dakotas, running along the Canadian border, bringing us that chance for rain, which, like I said, probably will stick around till a couple hours after midnight before the next round of higher pressure comes aboard. So, if we have two-tenths of an inch of rain here in Duluth, right now and what are we going to get here by tomorrow morning well another two tenths is possible and it looks like about two tenths for many other towns as well maybe towards a third of an inch towards two harbors the last go round we had with rain minnesota got shortchanged. this time around it looks like folks they were going to get more than wisconsin or the up it's going to be fair and balanced tonight minnesota temperatures pretty warm actually 40 to 46 degrees for the lows 60 percent chance for more rain in your neck of the woods just in case you haven't seen it yet into wisconsin and michigan we go where low temps there will be in the 40s as well maybe as warm as 50 for the hayward area 50 percent chance for continued rain there for at least another six or so hours and then for tomorrow in wisconsin and michigan it should break towards mostly sunny and high temps will run 65 to even 70 degrees. Not a bad day to be out on the water. Don't forget the life jacket, of course, and keep it on. Don't try to get it on when there's been problems and you're in the water floundering. That doesn't work too good. Minnesota highs, 58 to 67 with sunshine. But changes are coming, Tony. The seven-day forecast is going to show by Monday. Clouds go back up. Rain chances form back up again. And temperatures take a bit of a dive. From 60 Sunday, we go to 40s and 50s for the rest of the week. Hey, that looks like a nice weekend payoff, though, for what we're having to go through today. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave.